and welcome back to Jakar's gaming documentary I made a mistake and I recorded this section with my microphone unplugged so I'm narrating over top of it so if there's any indiscrepancies that's why uh, got a lot of work done cutting down tons of trees had needed tons of wood for my future project uh, just doing the normal routine Oh, uh, apparently I like this mountain because I'm looking at it. I must have said a whole lot here, but I don't remember exactly what it was. Oh yeah, no HD video, as you can tell. Had a problem with getting the hard drive set up. Now that's not new. That That's new. That's the new base we're working on, or home. It's going to be a wooden A-frame. I had to cut down a whole pine forest just about to get enough materials. I was going to cut in when I recorded making the floor, but and I got rid of the wheat farm. But I got carried away building, and I was like, I got to stop or I'll have this thing built. So here we are, picking up where we left off. And I break my legs. <laughs> little patio there cobble fence I didn't like how wooden fence looked so little porch got double doors fancy <laughs> and the grinders working pretty good got a few little items yep don't need to flash though I'll throw that in my trash can right there oh yeah it's about the size I wanted I had to make it this big just because I had to keep the wood away from the lava or the whole thing would go up and smoke and I got this design for the A-frame off of the Minecraft forums a couple years back somebody built an A-frame smaller than this one so this is what it's based off of I can't remember who it was it's been too long ago uh, I had to put vines like that because I have stairs on that wall I can't put fences on stairs which irritates me and just alternating pattern of logs and then stairs on top of the logs I guess that's what I'm saying right there <laughs> never narrated over top of already recorded video oh yeah that's where the stairs are where those uh, indentions are just kind of break it up so it's not just a flat boring wall now it's getting night now I'm retreating retreating for the badness comes out and yeah don't close the hatch going back down anyway and here I repeatedly try and get in the bed but gotta wait till the sun touches the horizon there we go now the second part of this video should be recorded as normal because I actually have the microphone plugged in <laughs> and it's gonna be a lot taller this house is once I get the roof complete and I'll have to move everything from this cobblestone platform into the a-frame but it should look pretty good once i get it done which on the second half of this video it will be done spoiler alert <laughs> yep it'll be done i'll have all the stuff moved in this eyesore will be gone there was two diamonds in that chest you see it but you can't guess what we're going to make out of those I may, if I can remember, I'll use those diamonds on the second half of the video. Never guess what we're going to make with those two diamonds. Oh, here I'm talking about the cobblestone. I had half slabs under that, but it looked too distracting. So I just put cobble because it matches the fence. So I guess that's good enough. I'm no designer. All I know is that look better than the wooden fences and half slabs, so I went with that. And I'll put some fence gates there. This corner you can actually walk off in case you need a quick escape. 
and the front gate is not close enough <laughs> and the whole front of the house will be glass too so it'll have a nice view that's all the wood I cut down whole pine forest let's see apparently I'm talking about something about the grinder or maybe I'm just looking at it mesmerized by all the burning mobs yep that's what it is I'm just in a trance burn baby burn alright and this is coming to a close and the next half should have actual recorded audio with the video and here we are on the second half of the video hopefully with audio along with it this time so I've been working quite a bit off camera and here we are there it is fully completed A-frame ain't that party yeah, a tree farm. Let's have a look, shall we? And of course, the pumpkins right there mark the shaft down to uh, the mine and everything. I'll create a little basement here to get there from underground so it ain't there and ugly. There's a lot of glass, ain't it? Let's just walk right in. We got our fence gates. We got our doors. We got our grinder. Oh, yeah, look at all that gunpowder. We're going to have tons of TNT. I wanted to dig the desert up, though. Trash can. Change the design a little bit. I've got my enchanting table set up. Our map. And look, the map shows the A-frame now. Ain't that nice? It still shows that square, though. Huh. Clock. Got our storage system going here just normal chest trap chest I'll have frames on it all eventually anvil uh, furnace all that good stuff what am I cooking oh yeah food plenty of furnaces I'll be able to mass produce anything I need I redid this just I don't know I like it Makes it more rugged looking. Something to use the mossy for. So, yeah, I like a nice high. Look at that view right there, huh? Tell me that ain't a nice view. Wait till you see it at sunset. It looks awesome. Now, at the very top, way up there, I'm going to line these two ropes in pure glowstone once I go to the nether. I have enough obsidian to make a portal, I just hadn't got around to it yet been busy on this baby got a loft up here oh and this on the first half I said I put vines because I couldn't put fences on here what I meant to say is I can't put ladders on the stairs hence the vines and I can trim them every now and again and you know get more vines as I need we'll go up into the master bedroom loft oh yeah the babe layer right here <laughs> and we got well if it's open so I can look down see the grinder in action look up at that nice view sunsets there sunrises here moonrise too I like this you can see the little bit of the village right there it's very awesome when you go to sleep at night you can see the moon slowly rise as you go to sleep and then when you wake up there's the sunrise pretty freaking awesome uh, I may add a few little bookcases for decor I'm not really sure what else to add I wish they had armor stands in this game I'd put awesome suits of armor up here it would rock so yeah you ain't gonna feel claustrophobic in here that's for dang sure put these stairs here because I like the it was too sharp to transition from a whole block to these and I was gonna put mossy there because I don't like that gap but I can't reach the chest so 
So this is temporary once I rig up a better system with droppers to pipe it around I'll put mossy back there I was debating on putting it on these bottom ones too but I actually kind of like it to be glass hmm I have to think on that later so yeah we got hidden lighting back here torches until I get glowstone I'm gonna put where that torch is. I'm gonna put some glowstone. Try and make some kind of hidden lighting. I'm kind of limited because the walls and roof is only one thick. If I knock it out, you'll see sky. So that's kind of crappy. And this is my. If I die, I have a sword, a full set of armor with just some like level one, two enchantments on it, so I can just flick it real quick if I don't have anything there we go now I've got oh let's see the armor's getting worn out I'll need it pretty soon <laughs> let's see put all that back up mm -hmm. iron bar equals the good chest all the good stuff I need that I'm gonna put that up I don't want to lose that <clears throat> Okay. Let's get in there. I guess I'll go over to the uh, pine forest I desecrated. Good opportunity to ride on the little halsey. Come on, give me that. Alright, here we go. Let's see how it does with recording lag. Hoo ah. <laughs> now watch, I'll ride off into a hundred foot pitfall and die instantly it'll be hilarious oh, oh there we go already did <laughs> can definitely tell the recording what the heck is that shaft over there oh taxing through the floor is a mine shaft <laughs> so anyway here we are as you can see I had a bed and miniature ice tray to get some ice because I always like to keep ice but the forest was actually right to the edge of the snow right here and as you can see I backed it up quite a bit went all the way from that water all the way to this plane yep deforestation at its finest but it went to a good cause because I think the uh, a frame turned out pretty good I had a smaller actually I still have a smaller version of it on an old save you know that I keep just for memory's sake because a lot of the stuff on there is broken like uh, my grinder for example I had a gravity fall grinder at that in that one when the sign trick used to work it was my highest yield mob grinder Hey, come here, you. Don't you walk away from me, son. <clears throat> I'll take your hay away from you. <laughs> yes. Oh, yeah, that's right. I remember now. I remember now. Almost forgot. We got some diamonds to use. Where's them diamonds is? There they are. All right. Oh, yeah. Good old diamonds exactly what we needed some diamonds oh yeah there we go look at that got my diamond cane out my blinging hoe nobody can mess with me now oh yeah been waiting for that as a matter of fact we're gonna get rid of that hmm oh how in the world did it get up there? Anyway, and we're going. There we go. That's much better. That's awesome. All right. Ah, now it's refreshing. It's getting rid of that little cobblestone platform. Good, good. Put that up. All right. Oh, nighttime. Let's go to sleep. 
Yeah, I'm not good at carpet patterns either, but I figured this is better than nothing. So yeah, look at that moonrise, huh? <laughs> we go to sleep and then, of course, usually I pop out this way and I see the sunrise. Yeah, just a little decor in here few pictures maybe I don't know I have to think about it this whole wall is just gonna be chests all the way up I'm not sure about this wall yet maybe just put a picture there or something guess I'll go do a little cave exploring haven't done that in a while I need to cut some trees down too thing pretty much <laughs> obliterated my wood supply and touch down did I leave anything no no just some garbage down here nothing good let's go this way bucket of water always good to have this is where I was getting my obsidian yeah I saw it before. There's some shinies over there. We're going to get them too. Got to be careful because sometimes skeletons snipe you from up there. Just run your day. Let's see, secure the area. Huh. Interesting. So yeah, like I said, oh, look at that dude over there. Wise guy, huh? That's right, I got range on you, son. Or more range. Gonna have to secure this so nothing falls on my head. Yeah, just a little bit. Don't need much. Okay. Now we'll get some diamonds. What was I about to say? That's a heck of a lighting glitch over there. More light. Oh, I didn't see that one though. I'll tell you that right now. Of course, I'm nervous. I have to make sure these are not sitting over lava. That would be terrible. Solid. Solid. Good. I know there's probably not anything else, but the moment I don't look, there'll be ten up there. Yeah. Okay, that's fine. Oh, yeah. Give me all that. Four diamonds. That's good put that to use right now as well see I'm good on coal actually Let's see what's in here as you hate that when people record they'll get diamonds and instead of returning immediately to the surface and putting them up so they're safe and there's no chance of losing them they'll go and continue exploring like I'm doing all around lava where they could potentially burn and lose everything. Oh, that, hey, it adds to the excitement, you know? The suspense. Just never know when it's going to happen. Especially with these uh, sniper hacker skeletons. With their aimbot. It's one reason I don't play first person shooters. I mean, I like blowing stuff up as much as the next dude but you get too many kids you know I mean a kid usually their brain ain't developed enough to know the difference between honorable combat and just I gotta win I gotta win or I'm gonna emo cut myself you know, so that's usually why because I hear they're pretty much filled with younger people And I ain't younger people, I was old people. 
old. Well, not that old. Starting gray. How old do you think that is? <laughs> what is in here? Man. Alright, this lava, er, lava. This water must die. Now. There we go. That's a pretty interesting area for sure. Oh, jerk around. I cut my mouse sensitivity down just a little bit because it seemed to be a little too jerky. But, oh. A suicidal bat. On Feed the Beast, you have those things except they're fire bats in the nether. They are always on fire. They hit you, set you on fire, and then explode. It's pretty intense. I think those things are worse than the ghasts. Alright, that's it. Rain down on me. That would probably hurt, though, really. Giant iron blocks hitting you in the head. Oh, I almost wasted redstone. That's a sin. <sighs> now that we have a home and storage, we can move on to bigger projects. Well, maybe not bigger projects, but more interesting projects like redstone. I like playing with redstone. I'm not good at it. Oh no. It broke. Sorry Dice, that's why I brought the iron. Knew it's gonna happen. Oh, I don't need you. I've got a diamond hole. What do I need you for? There we go. Do, 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 do. Alrighty. See, so, yeah, like I was saying, I'm not good with redstone, but I do like to tinker with it and read up actually I like to build stuff like a bud switch I really can't think of anything much to make with a bud switch but I like to see a bud switch work you know very interesting I think the most complex redstone thing I made was I recreated Zyrum's heroes a cannon timer with repeaters he had very awesome design just one click primes your TNT and then the cannon goes off of course it's a little tricky on SMP because I made a cannon using it there trying it out and I had you know I was rocking out full diamond armor I had all diamond tools and weapons excellent enchants on them and I had the cannon set up so you actually sit down in a mine cart, you know, because mine cart absorbed some of the explosion. So you could sit right next to the TNT as it went off and uh, usually wouldn't die. I say usually because that one time I fired that baby and next thing I know my character's flying up in the air. So, you know, the body goes poof midair. So, you know, I have a good laugh. I'm walking back. Go over to get my stuff, and it's all gone. All my diamond stuff just gone. So, you know, naturally, had a little rage fit. And I didn't mess with cannons for a while after that. But it was a lesson learned. Now I know to only fire cannons in iron gear. <laughs> hey, buddy, come on down here. Moron. <laughs> He's about as stupid as some of my co workers. Yeah, I guess I better not <clears throat> get on the subject of co workers or talk about rage. Tell you some of these jokers I work with, old enough to be my pappy, and they're about as stupid as a. Oh, what's up there? And they're about as stupid as an inbred goat. I mean, really, how can you do a job for like 20 years? Or be at a job for 20 years, rather? and not know anything. It's the beatingest thing I've ever seen. 
I assume they just choose not to learn it so they don't have to do it. I mean, because if they don't consciously... Hey, dude. Dang blasted, I'm trying to talk here. Do you mind? You see me talking here? What in the world is this nonsense? That's right. Oh, you still over here? Get out of here, dude. How many skeletons was it? Just can't tell a story, I tell you. Alright, retreat. Fall back. Hey, guy. Come on, you can blow up better than that. Hey, big wussy. Oh, right, no torches. Hmm. Alright, this looks safe. Oh, my goodness, look at that. <laughs> Dang. That. Ugh. I got something in my eye. Okay. More torches. I'll make all that many. Alright. So, yeah, like I was saying, these people have to choose not to know how to do the job. Because, I mean talk about lazy this goes beyond lazy I mean you risk being rode up at your job just because you're too freaking lazy to learn how to put in a tank I mean really and in case you're wondering I work at a water treatment plant nothing too spectacular but it does keep the water clean so people don't die of Raging diseases. It's a pretty interesting job if you like scientific kinds of things, you know, microbiology, you know, environmental science. Of course, I don't have any kind of degrees in that nonsense. I just know how to do the basics and meet permit. All right, there. Now we won't fall and burn to death in that. Torch there. Okay. <clears throat> Can't get my throat clear for some reason. Yeah, it works fun. At least when you work with the right people, but I guess, you know, that's anywhere. You can have the best job in the world and work with some jerks, and it's no longer the best job in the world. <laughs> <clears throat> like well for example I'll give you a perfect example and you tell me if you ever heard of this before in your life this guy he's probably about five years older than I am you know married he's got well, his wife had a few kids but anything anyway this dude working midnight shift and you have to monitor stuff in the plant you know this dude brought in a full-sized air mattress, stretched it out in the control room, and made himself a nest and went to sleep every night. And if that ain't bad enough, the dude was told that the higher-ups got wind of it, and he was warned to put it up. And the dude is so freaking stupid, he brought it back in anyway, and the manager walked in the plant. Saw it there in the middle of the room. I like, man, talk about. Hmm. I just don't know what you, what word would describe that other than just being a complete idiot. Uh, uh, that's a bit of darkness. Nothing really happened to him either. He just got sent home early. Which was a joke. See, now, if I was in charge, I'd have fired his ass. Pardon my French. Just because that's uncalled for. You're there, you get paid good money to do a job, and you can't even stay awake to do it? Oh, no. But I think uh, the higher-ups liked him because he was a snitch. You know, snitches always get preference, it seems. 
they can keep that. I ain't snitching nobody. I'd rather not get a promotion or raise if I gotta sit there and brown those for it. I'll just keep my normal pay. Thank you very much. All right, that'll be good enough. I'm not exactly sure how long I've been recording. Oh, it's midnight, so we'll probably blow up on the way to the house. I keep recording just in case I die in my front yard and the diamonds just get obliterated because that would be hilarious. Iron sword's about broken. All right, All right there you are. <laughs> I knew that was going to happen. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Look at all this. Come on, bring it on. Bring it on, son. I'll stab you in the face. Uh-oh, dying. Retreat. I said retreat. What's the matter to you? <laughs> Holy. Talk about excitement, man. Well. As you can see, the diamonds are safe. Can't even make a sword. I don't have no sticks. What is going on here? Made all of them torches. This is what I need for real. These iron swords just ain't getting it done. Alright. I'm alive. I'm healthy. I guess I'll shut it off right here. We'll catch you on the next one.